I received a question today. Is there a way to bring my InDesign content into FrameMaker? And what would be the easiest way to do that? Uh, I'm going to put together this demo uh, to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, it's, it's a fairly popular uh, question. How do I move uh, content from InDesign uh, to FrameMaker or FrameMaker to InDesign? Uh, here you go with an example of how this would go on. I have a sample InDesign file right here. Let's open it up and take a look. Here's the file. Now basically, the cleaner you can get your uh, content to HTML, uh, the better. So basically, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. Uh, within uh, InDesign, all we have to do is click on File, Export for Dreamweaver. We can select what we want to call it. I'll take the default, the name of the file with an HTML extension. Hit save. Now we have a, a few choices. We can decide to uh, just export a selection or the full document uh, based upon the page layout for uh, the flow of the document. Uh, we can decide what we want to do with our uh, bullets and our numbers. Images, do we want to automatically have them converted uh, by type or we can force an individual type and there's just a couple of other uh, choices that we have. We can embed in uh, cascading style sheets or not. So it's our choice. I'll, I'll say no cascading style sheet and I'll export this. Now that it's exported, it's going to be uh, fairly easy to do at this particular point. I can close down uh, InDesign and let's go look at our uh, output. Here's the file that we just created. I'm going to right click I'm going to open it up with Notepad++. Now this is the file that we just created. It's an HTML file. Now all we have to do is we need to change the header information. So I've created a little file here so you could take a look at it. Uh, feel free to write it down. Uh, basically all we're doing is we're giving it a XML uh, version number uh, at the very top. Uh, so FrameMaker will know that this is an XML document. And we're also will be moving from a strict DTD to a transitional one. So just write this down. I'm going to copy it down. And I'm going to move it over to our document. And I can select our DTD callout. And I'll paste it. And I will hit save. At this particular point, that's all I really have to do. So I'm going to close this down. I will open up FrameMaker. Do a file. Open. Frame is configured to be able to uh, open, edit, and save XHTML files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up this HTML file where we change the header uh, to say that it's an XML file. Frame will think it's an XHTML file and open it up fine. Now Frame will uh, will do the uh, the linking of uh, all of the images. Uh, it will be piping through this content into a structured uh, template that we can modify if we want to change the uh, look and feel of the uh, document itself. So we have uh, total control on how we want to lay it out, but we have the content in total here. It's a structured frame document. It's an XML document. Now what we could do is we can make more modifications if we choose. Uh, I didn't do a very good conversion to HTML. Uh, it's truly up to uh, you how much work you want to do, but I can actually just go into here and maybe select this P element. And if I wanted to do some hand work, I could just say that's a heading one, and, and I can change that. Uh, so we could do some post processing if we choose to, or we can do a better job of converting it to HTML. But this procedure will work for anything that you can convert to HTML you can bring into FrameMaker. Now once it's in Frame, what I could do, if I wanted to, I could strip off the structure and keep this as an unstructured frame file. So if you want a unstructured frame file, not a problem. I just go into special, remove structured from flow. Now what we have is this document, an unstructured frame maker. Now if you choose, you can actually, if you want to create a, a different structure, you can certainly do that. Uh, all we'd have to do is use the structured tools conversion table uh, utility. Uh, to create a conversion table and from this conversion table we can create structure. 
and that's a, a different video altogether. I uh, have a seven-part video series, uh, e-learning series. Uh, feel free to uh, visit that. We do have those recorded links. You can go to the FreeMaker and the Tech Communication Suite product page and get a link to those uh, recordings. Thank you very much.